In this video, I am going to show you how to print the sum of first n natural numbers in C++. First, I am going to write the basic structure of C++. So, the user wants to print the sum of first n natural numbers. For that, first we will take input from user. For example, user enter 5. So, we have to print the sum of first 5 numbers. So, first we will print enter n number and store this value in a variable. So, let's create an integer variable num. Now whatever number user will enter, it will store it in variable num. So now let's do a for loop. Initially I will set i equals to 1 and we have to print up to n. So for that we have to set the condition i less than equals to num and update plus plus i. Now let's create another variable sum and set it equals to 0. We take sum equals to 0 because adding any number with 0, we will get the same number. And in the for loop, I will write sum equals to sum plus i and print sum equals to sum. Now let's explain it. On the left, I have written the code. So we created three variables, num, i and sum. Now let's write down their values. Suppose the user enters 5, set i equals to 1 and sum equals to 0. So we set the condition i less than equals to num. So here i equals to 1, which is smaller than num equals to 5. So this statement is true for which sum equals to sum plus i will be executed. So here sum equals to 0 and i equals to 1. So the new sum will be 0 plus 1 equals to 1 and we'll update plus plus i to increase the value of i by 1. So now the value of sum has become 1 and i equals to 2. Now it will check again the condition that i less than equals to num or not. So now i is 2 and num is 5. So 2 is less than 5. This statement is true. So it will execute sum equals to sum plus i again. Now the sum is 1 and i is 2. Now the new sum will be 1 plus 2 equals to 3. And by updating plus plus i, it will increase i by 1. So now the new i is equals to 3. It will again check the condition i is less than equals to num or not. So 3 is still less than 5. So it will execute sum equals to sum plus i. So it will be 3 plus 3 equals to 6. And increasing i by 1 makes it 4. It will again check the condition i is less than equals to num or not. So 4 is less than 5. So it will again execute sum equals to sum plus i. So it will be 6 plus 4 equals to 10. And increasing i by 1 makes it 5. It will again check the condition i is less than equals to 5 or not. This time i is not less than but equals to 5. So it will execute sum equals to sum plus i which is 10 plus 5 equals to 15. And increase i by 1 so that it is now 6. It will again check the condition i is less than equals to 5 or not. Now i equals to 6 is greater than num equals to 5. So this statement becomes false. So it will exit the loop and print the value of sum. Now let's run the code. Enter a number. So I will enter 5. So it's working properly. So I will calculate and show you whether the answer is correct or not. So it's correct. Thanks for watching this video. If you want more videos like this then comment below. Like share and don't forget to subscribe.